what is going on you guys it's your boy white album here welcome back to another mortal kombat one video man today i am bringing you guys the official noob cyborg gameplay trailer but we're doing it a little bit different today because i have already seen the gameplay trailer when i was at work again had a bit of downtime at work so i watched it and i'm just gonna say right now noob cyborg easily takes combat pack 2 man easily like over cyrax over sector and obviously he's gonna be over the um over the uh, dlc characters too man he easily takes combat pack too man his combo his gameplay his movement is insane and again i'm gonna say this right now it's easily better than his mk11 counterpart like design wise you know it's a 50 50 split on how you feel about his design in mk1 but you cannot deny that his mk1 gameplay is infinitely better than his mk11 one man like he doesn't look so slow and clunky anymore he does he's, he's like a full form like shadow you know because that's essentially what he is uh but he looks insane so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go through break down some of the things that i noticed some of the stuff that i've seen and here's some buffs some nerfs that we did see uh so before i get into it like comment subscribe man let's get into it shall we why not let's do it let's do it let us do it so uh we're just gonna watch it normally and then I'm, i'll stop at the uh at the uh you know the, the the gameplay part so let's do it man let's do it here we go ladies and gentlemen in three two one obviously we got bihan being the fucking badass that he is unfortunately he lost this fight i'm assuming because he turns into you know noob cybot <laughs> But look at the denizens of, uh, of Chaos Realm too. Like, look at that. that guy's got like, wait, what the hell is this? He's got a, another arm here. He's got his like real arms all skinned. He's got like other arms like holding him. There, you got this guy rocking uh, Havoc's helmet, but without the cool headpiece. I really hope they make this a skin for Havoc, dude. I really do, man, because it's such, this is such a sick fucking skin. I really wish that this was his Titan skin instead of the one that we got in the game, you know. But here we go, let's go. Ooh, look at Ta Empress Tanya. Woo. Anything is possible in Havoc's domain. Allow the brotherhood of chaos I'm at the I'm at the pick up Tanya again, man. This skin's insane. We got Raiden and Johnny. Real quick, if you guys remember from the original trailer that we saw for Chaos Reigns, I think a lot of people were speculating on who the hell the person was that said that, and it turns out it was Sector. She was the one that says it. We see her, you know, her full face right here. It's Dean Matt. You can see, again, they gave her more per uh, personality in this game compared to her previous counterparts. You sound like Bihan. So yeah, it was her that uh, that kind of said the, the question. But, oh, here we go. So we're going to watch this in... Uh, in in real time, and then we're gonna go back and watch in slow motion. Uh, 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 uh. All right, but here we go. All right, let's let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. But man, whoo, he looks sick here. So let's see. Let's get it started. Let's get it started, shall we? So obviously, it looks like we got a pretty simple. Combo starter, probably a one, two, two, one. I think uh front punch is usually um one. So this is like a one, two into almost something reminiscent like his uh what is it? Is it his uh back two grab string in MK11 where like he pulls them in with the sickle and then the clone punches them in the face? It's kind of reminiscent of that string in MK11. We got what looks to be ghost ball again, but if you noticed here. Ghost Ball leaves sort of like a hex effect. That's what I'm calling it, like a hex effect on them, um, which is pretty interesting because I don't think the last time he had that was like MK9. I think he had an MK11, but before uh, what that move used to do was actually a, you couldn't block when you had this move on. But it has a different property here as we saw. So let's get back into it. Let's go back a bit when he throws it. So it hits them. He's got his classic. Uh, he's got the. Uh, clone toss like he did in mk11 where the clone uh runs at you but instead of uh, but instead of having the sickle this time the fucking clone just like fucking just tackles you down to the ground so stab you in the chest 
and here we go um probably back like back to into the low and then there we go look at that that right there is insane so when i saw this the first person i thought was m bison because if you don't know or if you never played street fighter m bison has a move that he uses with a psycho power where he imbues your body with it and then he has an entire time to just detonate it at any time he wants and it's insane i think i believe in that game it's like plus on block so i wonder if this hex effect that they gave to noob cybot has it like that same thing going on so like say here instead of getting hit like obviously on hit it's gonna pop up but what if like if he does this string on block does the detonation what if he just stays like super plus on block here that would be insane but as we see on hit reaction or on hit it's a pop-up but i wonder what it's gonna be like on block what's the what's the frame data on that you know so it gets the pop-up does like a one two string knocks him down the pop-up there from the actual string does a slide version of probably the one two string uh and this is his back grab which is pretty insane uh 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 uh, I can't wait to see the brutality for that. Uh, but yeah, that no, insane, man, insane. Like I, I think that's gonna be a really cool thing to see on block. Is just, you know, you you hit him with this this hex, you get him in an oaky situation or on meaty. You know, if they're blocking, you'll probably. I I think that's how it's gonna work. I think they're gonna be if you're blocking this move and it detonates. It's going to be plus on block. It has to be plus on block. There's no way that move's going to be negative, right? I feel like that's going to be a very pressure-heavy move. Because um, unless it has different properties when they're on block, when, you th when he throws the actual um, orb, does it like count as a projectile? But if they get hit with it, you know, they get hit with this hex effect, and that's when you can put the detonation on you. But very M. Bison, super cool, man. So let's keep going, shall we? Let's keep going. Uh, uh. This is what you are meant to do. I am not allowed to desire a different future. Your desire Ooh, then we got Liu Kang here, kind of being, kind it's of reprimanding uh, B Han a bit here. Uh oh. Uh. uh. Uh uh. Love that flip kick. That's dude. There, that's what I want to talk about right there, man. That Shujiko buff, baby. Shujiko got buffed. Oh, that's what I want to talk about, man. Shujiko got buffed, ladies and gentlemen. He got buffed. Which, obviously, you know me. I'm a Shujinko main. Shujinko loyalist. It's insane. But let's let's get back into this. Let's watch this in slow motion, shall we? So, let's say we had that same string again. But he does it this weird back move i wonder if that's a let's see i wonder if that's a combo string or is that like a special that he does because it does pop up but as we saw with cyrax when she does like the punch and then she throws the bomb at you um that is an actual string so i wonder if this is a, a is a string in itself it has to be right i'm assuming because then he goes instantly into teleport here Grabs him, slams him to the ground. Exactly what he's had back for like, you know, he's, he's always had the teleport slam in every iteration of Mortal Kombat that he was in. Uh, so nothing new, nothing special. All right, you got like a stand three, stand four, maybe like a stand three, four, three combo, which does like this really cool little flip here. Uh, you could probably pop that up. I wonder if that is special cancelable. Or do you have to have a cameo like Mavado or Sonya or um, or Melina Cami to, to extend that? You know, only time will tell when we see it because he does move pretty quickly here. But uh, it does look like it has a fast recovery, which is pretty nice. Flip. Uh, uh, so that is a combo string. Okay, so that is a combo string where he does the uh the punch into the double palm clone and then he has a low that he can go into so there's a mix-up option with that string here see watch this so you can either go uh uh into the low or i'm pretty sure it's a mid or you can do the overhead kick which launches so that'd be pretty that's pretty sick but here we go ladies and gentlemen this is pretty sick shujinko got a new buff where he can now 
after a noob side bustle performance here he goes into a pet punch into conquest kick and it leaves them in a crumple state that's super cool i want to know how strong that's going to be and i wonder what you need to do in order to activate that because obviously shujinko's huge like his, his biggest strength is taking your enemies you know your opponent's uh moves and using them against them just better you know I, I take your moves i do it better sub-zero slide shit on block shujinko sub-zero slide i'm safe that's that's how, that's exactly how that works i'm safe on block um but here i like the way i'm kind of speculating is is that he does i want to say it's a full it has to be a full meter usage like you call in shujinko and he uses his entire meter to call that because this is essentially a free combo right here uh uh crumple state so you could do anything off of crumple state you know for me with katana i could do back two four it's a fan lift call in shujinko have him recharge bada bing bada boom he's back you know or there's other characters can definitely prioritize off of that a lot better than katana like sindel you know she does like her combo she does uh while she ha while she's doing her combo she calls out shujinko to uh to charge up you know uh restand with the scream do it all over again so uh, i wonder how strong that's going to be uh because i hopefully you know you don't want to make that strong enough where you negate all the other moves from you know from you know that's the kind of the whole point of using shujinko because he is that wild card cameo and he's like flashy when he's like stealing your opponent's moves again you know it, 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 that's the cool thing about shujinko so i don't think i think this move is going to is going to uh, require a full bar you know so it's like do you want to use the eight pet punch into conquest kick crumple or do you want to say uh you know into you know punch or kick into scorpion spear for the restand you know uh only time will tell i'm definitely gonna test that out when it drops man uh because that that's so sick uh i wasn't expecting them to buff shujinko but hey any buffs to shujinko i'll take because again i don't think there's any downsides to using shujinko besides him just charging up obviously matchup knowledge but i'm pretty knowledgeable against the whole cast when i use shujinko so you know not to toot my own horn but let's keep going shall we so here we go after after shujinko does this thing we got noob saibot uh uh he does that and it looks like he sets up an mk9 portal which is pretty cool if you don't remember back in mk9 noob saibot was able to have like a portal come from the sky we haven't seen that move since mk9 he didn't have an mk11 but it's essentially the same thing in mk9 it takes him off the ground so i wonder if that's a low uh that'd be that'd be pretty nasty if it's a low he does his uh he does it okay so now he does his you know his aerial combo which is probably like a like let's see one two two one or something like that does it again oh hold on but here he does meter burn air teleport so he's got that from mk11 again which is pretty nice and uh you know slams him down but this time instead of you know i i like it because it's exactly the same move from mk11 but without the sickle you know uh well without the sickle but it's still a pop-up which is nice uh uh and to a dive kick so he's also got his dive kit back from mk11 i think he had that i don't know if he had that in mk9 but he definitely has it in mk11 uh, which is nice so he definitely has his um dive kick back which is sick because back in mk11 that was an optional move you needed to have but they do show off something with that uh with that um dive kick that i'll show that i'll explain to you later so let's get back into it let's continue on with this trailer oh but this tanya skin though damn bro they made tanya sexy as fuck Ooh, look at her yeah damn i might have to pick up i might have to pick up tanya again but here we go man here we go because they also show a pretty big crucial thing here for tanya String again, another pop up, Movado. Ooh, there you go. Uh, uh, uh. And it's also cool. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. There it is. There's the big thing for her. And this Fatal Blow is so sick. I love this. The insult to injury. Oh. 
the fucking skull decimator man so here we go let's get back in oh, oh not subtitles playback speed so here we go they showed off some pretty nice things here and this is why i also think he's gonna be a, a combo king man he's definitely a combo king so oop. So we got that string again it looks like one two then he does an uppercut with the i think this is gonna be i don't know if it's gonna be a dial-in combo i doubt that maybe it is who knows you know nrs they love their dial-in combos into a pop-up uh-uh calls in movado does his jump combo and does meter burn dive kick which leaves them stunned in the air and it's very reminiscent of um of uh darius of darius's spin kick that we've seen only you know reiko players really use <laughs> but it's it's essentially darius's spin kick but you get it from dive kick which is pretty insane so it would be pretty funny if you do if you do uh you know meter burn dive kick which leaves them spinning into fucking darius spin kick that would be so funny i don't know if that's possible because the way uh some was working the game but who knows that might that might be an actual setup you can do all right then he does like this i'm assuming that's like a back three or back four which is that overhead kick which i'm assuming is gonna be a hard knockdown as we did see here um because I, I don't think there's gonna be any combo potential from that it's just your standard you know overhead that he's that you have with your characters because i don't know if he has any lows that you need to worry about but it's just a nice overhead to keep your opponent guessing you know you have to keep them on their toes saying like hey you keep blocking low here's an overhead for you you know then he does a meter burn oh okay i didn't notice that so he does meter burn ghost ball and as you can see here, the clone is like holding it. So I wonder if you can hold that and then let it go at any time, kind of like a cameo Sonya, where you can kind of hold the rings, but you can kind of call them anytime you want. Uh, or like a cameo uh, Kano with its Kano ball, same idea. So here we go. Let me let me say that again. Meter burns it, has him hold, blocks the the drill kick, does. What could be a back three, a back three string, the the cameo, the, not the cameo, the clone throws the hex ball, and then uh, Noob Cybot here, he activates it, which is pretty sick, he detonates it. Uh, does another air combo with the pop-up, and does what almost reminds me of his uh, clone up kick, you know, from NK11. Or from yeah, MK11, MK9. We does it the, you know, these are the cool corner combos that you do, you can do with him in the corner. Uh, but it looks like this pops up in the air. I don't know if that's a true pop up or is it more of like a combo extender, you know? But did he meter burn that? Let me check real quick. Uh, oh yeah, he does meter burn it. Oh yeah, so it, it's his, it's it's basically the uh, shadow up kick. Okay. Does the low into a new animation, which is pretty cool because no other character has this. Where if they're on the ground, you can do a, another input to to basically finish them off. It's almost reminiscent of Tekken 8. You know, Tekken 8 has a lot of those. You know, if your opponent's on the ground, you just press a down directional plus any like a kick button, I believe. I know Reyna has one. My main Reyna, where she's like this fucking crazy like arc stomp and like lightning comes out. It's pretty insane. So. Um, just like Cyrax, Noob Cybot's got his own special little thing that's exclusive to him, which is the on on knockdown from a sweep, he can do uh oh hold on. Sweep and then into clone. You know, where Cyrax has the ability to uh wall jump, he gets the ability to continue after his uh, sweep. So that'd be kind of funny. You do let's see. So after the sweep. Hit him with clone, and then you call Movado in. That'd be kind of insane. So here we go. Here's probably one of the biggest things here. Tanya's split kicks are nerfed, ladies and gentlemen. So you don't have to worry about Tanya's just um, meter burning wake up spin kicks all day, every day into Goro to keep him safe. So that's that is efficiently done and dusted. That's gone now, ladies and gentlemen. That is gone. I will say though, I guess it does balance out the fact that, you know, um, from the combat cast that we did see, 
she can now do drill kick into teleport which is a pretty crazy buff because you know if your opponent's not paying attention and you do a drill kick from full screen and then with the ability to teleport into a combo is insane so it's a nice count it's a nice little balance to you know okay we buffed the drill kick into teleport but we also nerfed her spin kicks on 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 uh, on wake up so you know we're not having you know tanya is just doing spin kick wake up into goro and then just destroying our fucking shins with a drill kick into teleport so it's a nice little counterbalance there that she gets so let's get back let's watch that one more time uh uh so it's a full punish combo into that sweep again into uh fatal incredible we don't need to watch this we already seen it we'll just uh, skip ahead here it's a more story though i will say this is insane so she's falling they do like a double kick to the side of the like to the top of the head and the, like the jaw it, it's such an insane fatal blow oh insane Your new attire suits you. uh kui liang the brother's face again Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. Finish him. Alright, so before we see the fatality, because this is a pretty sick fatality, let's go back and watch that real quick. Uh, uh. So the low again into. So it's a double low starter? Or it's a, it's a low starter into another low? Let's see, we got, uh, we got, was probably like a back, uh, let's see, I'm gonna say that's a back three, the other one we could say is a back four, this is a back three, into the clone hit, into another sweep, into a teleport, into a, a, a portal, so I wonder if that is, I don't, what would that be, huh, let's see, uh, uh oh okay so the animation he does when he does like that turn we saw that when he did the up kick so i wonder if this is another version of that where he makes a portal on the ground okay because then he does like a, maybe a stand three combo into the same animation again but with the up kick this time he sets up, like, what the hell is this? Like, what? This is insane. Watch this. So after this string, does the teleport. Uh, uh. It looks like he sets up another teleport portal where he's going to land. So I'm, I wanna, I'm assuming that's a special move. It has to be a special move. So I'm going to say that Noob Cybot can now place portals on the ground, kind of like Rain with his Whirlpool. Uh, but it looks like he can actually do it from a combo, which is pretty insane. Because then he pulls him in. Uh, into teleport again. And that's it. That's the end of the what's called. But let's watch this uh, this fatality. Because this fatality is pretty creative. It's actually really cool. I love it. His shadow comes out. Shadow's running along. Jumps into Kui Liang's shadow. Uh, pops out of his back. Oh, Whew, split into two. Yeah, he looks insane, man. And his animality, this is so sick. He turns into a fucking alligator, man. I love it. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. Being a Florida boy, I love it. It's a crocodile. I love or an alligator. Sorry. Uh. But it's also pretty cool because I saw people talking on Instagram, not Instagram, uh, Twitter, that this almost has the, the 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 startings of his MK9 fatality, which if you don't know, back in MK9, uh, Noob Cybot has a fatality where him and his clone grab you by your fucking feet, and they basically just wishbone you. They just rip you apart down the middle. So I'm assuming this is going to be the same exact thing that's going to happen to Liu Kang right here. But with crocodile, uh, with the crocodiles, I keep saying crocodiles, alligators instead. Because look, one grabs one leg, 
the other grabs the other leg it's gonna be pretty insane but man uh let's go back let's just watch that fatality in slow motion real quick i still think it's a cool fatality i think his fatality in mk11 are a little bit cooler in my opinion granted we have yet to see a second fatality so who knows but i think the one where in mk11 he fucking grabs a sickle he rips you open he fucking shoves his hand in you and he like summons a shadow into you and the shadow just bursts out of your fucking mouth it's pretty sick it's almost reminiscent of that uh, this fatality is almost reminiscent of that where instead of the mouth it's from the back here and they grab you by the spine i think i think it's uh i think it's a pretty cool fatality this is a pretty gruesome fucking fatality look at this in slow motion it's insane <laughs> looking at this fatality in slow motion is insane man but there we go ladies and gentlemen that's gonna be it for today's video man uh doing a little something different here did more of a, a breakdown style video because i've already seen the the trailer and i kind of didn't want to do a whole uh you know reaction to it first and then do the do the um uh the breakdown like i would normally do uh because again i've already seen it i kind of did that with sector and uh you know when it comes to these trailers i want to be a little bit more genuine with my reaction and i can't be really genuine if i've already seen it you know i don't want to fake my reaction for you guys uh but you know i will say NRS, they did kind of, they kind of, uh, they kind of sideswipe me, man. Uh, before I sign off here, because you know, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this during my Cyrax video or my Sector video, or uh, I mean my Cyrax Sector video on the Combat Cast, but I kind of mentioned that they this week they're probably just going to do teasers. You know, like yesterday we got the teaser between him and Johnny, and I thought that throughout the week they were just going to pepper us with little bits of you know. Uh, intros like they did with Sector, like before Sector Australia even came up, we got like I think three, maybe four intros between her and Cyrax and like another character and two other characters. But with uh, with Noob Saibot, they just basically said, "Hey, guess what? Here's a here's a intro. Guess what? Tomorrow trailer, baby trailer." Uh, I'm not complaining, man. I will say I was kind of again sideswiped. I thought they were gonna kind of like uh, space it out a little bit more. Like they're gonna show us the teasers this week, then next week, the following or this, yeah, uh, yeah, next week, uh, they're gonna do the actual trailer and then do his combat cast, and then the following week is when we get Chaos Reigns. But they're definitely changing it up. So we got his trailer today. I won't be surprised if we get his um, his uh, combat cast. I want to say maybe Thursday or Friday. Um, probably Thursday, they'll probably wait the day with Wednesday, and then Thursday they'll drop his, uh, combat cast. Uh, and then, just next week it comes down to, um, you know, what else are they gonna do? You know, you already showed off your three characters for the combat story pack. I, I highly doubt they're gonna show off Ghostface, or, cause I think Ghostface is gonna be the first DLC. I highly doubt they're gonna show anything off for him, but... Chances are chances are pretty slim, but they're not zero. I will say, but who knows? It's up to NRS if they want to show off a Ghostface this early, even though we still don't know when they're gonna drop. Um, it probably will be obviously maybe a month after Chaos Reigns drops that we're probably gonna start seeing something for Ghostface. Uh, who knows? Again, only time will tell. Uh, you know, I, the next time I see you guys will probably be on the combat cast. I may record something after this. I don't know. It's been a while since I have played MK11. MK11? MK1? <laughs> uh, though I do want to play some MK11, but I think the next time you see me, I, it will be during the Noob Cybot combat cast. Hopefully, I won't be at work. If not, then... Hey... Uh, or I'll just forget like I did for the Cyrex and uh, Sector one where I just forget it and then I come home and I'm like, oh yeah, guess what? I forgot there was a combat cast. So who knows? I'll probably, even if it does happen on the day that I that I do work this week, um, then I'll just, I'll try to do my best to not watch it. Uh, but who knows? Again, other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you did like, comment, and subscribe, it is your boy White Album. I will see you guys next time.